Hello there, it's me, Allura, and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. If you'd like to see videos like this and more in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just in case you aren't familiar with this topic, let's dive into what the concept of a chosen one is. Then we'll go into what they actually are and signs that you could be one. Chosen souls are individuals who are believed to have been selected or appointed by a higher power for a special purpose or mission. In many spiritual and religious traditions, these souls are seen as having a unique destiny or calling that sets them apart from others. The concept of chosen souls can be found in various cultures and belief systems. For example, in Christianity, the idea of being chosen by God is often connected to the idea of being called to serve in a specific role or to fulfill a particular mission. This can manifest in different ways, such as being a prophet, a leader, or a healer. In other belief systems, such as certain indigenous traditions or New Age spirituality, being a chosen soul may mean having a deep connection to the earth, the cosmos, or spiritual realms. These individuals are often seen as having a heightened sense of intuition, empathy, or spiritual gifts that make them uniquely qualified to bring about positive change in the world. Being a chosen soul is not necessarily about being better or more special than others but rather about having a specific purpose or role to play in the grand scheme of things. It is a recognition of the unique gifts, talents, and qualities that each individual possesses and how they can be used to make a positive impact on the world. As one of the leading soul readers of our time, I have read the origins of over 20,000 people throughout my work. In addition to that, as a spiritual teacher, I have taught about the concepts of star seeds and incarnated angels. I want truth seekers to not only have their own understanding of their origins, but I want them to be educated spiritually as well too. In that, I have also explained that some of those souls could be chosen. Through my experience, I know that the chosen are especially among otherworldly soul types. The reason is because souls from beyond Earth are not just created with three-dimensional earthly consciousness. They have celestial energy that when born and awakened can awaken the wisdom that they carry from their otherworldly origins. That includes special spiritual gifts that their soul may have in their consciousness because of having originated from a higher dimension of existence. In higher dimensions, the knowledge and abilities one had are not confined to three-dimensional human perception. However, earth souls can be chosen too. They may have a purpose of ascending and then go on to fulfill a purpose before their time on earth ends, after their last reincarnation. Yet, there aren't many. I'll tell you why further on. Like any truth, mankind bends it to work with their own agenda. Nowadays, they are promoting the concept of chosen ones, which isn't really all that different from what I teach about star seeds and incarnated angelic souls. The only thing is, is that each of them have their own background beliefs as to why they are chosen. The concept of chosen souls in comparison to star seeds and incarnated angels 
brings them all together through a similar belief. They all share the belief that they have a special purpose or mission in this world. Star seeds are individuals whose soul originates from another planet or star system and have been sent to Earth to help humanity awaken and evolve. Check out some of the earlier content on this channel if you want to learn more. I've covered this topic pretty extensively here and throughout my blogs in the past. Starseed souls often feel like outsiders or have a strong sense of not belonging to this world. Awakened starseeds possess advanced spiritual knowledge and abilities that can help guide and uplift humanity. Incarnated angels, on the other hand, are individuals who have a direct connection to the angelic realm and have chosen or were sent to incarnate on earth to spread love, light, and healing. They are pure, compassionate, and nurturing individuals who are here to serve others and bring about positive change in the world. There's not an ounce of selfishness in them. I mean, they're angels. Those who came from the divine realms will awaken and exhibit the divinity within in everything that they do. To be divine means to be perfect, since the divine is perfect. It makes sense. While chosen souls, star seeds, and incarnated angels may have different origins and beliefs, they all share the common thread of feeling a deep sense of purpose and mission in this world. They often possess unique gifts, talents, and qualities that set them apart from others and enable them to make a positive impact on the world. These individuals may also experience feelings of homesickness, longing for a higher spiritual connection, and a sense of being different or out of place in this world. They may feel a strong pull towards spiritual practices, healing modalities, or serving others in some capacity. Back when the New Age movement really started to take off, it started by being promoted through shows like Ancient Aliens to install the idea that beings exist beyond Earth and that their soul could come from these places. Prior to the early 2000s, these ideas were considered to be taboo and were not widely accepted. However, the movement commercialized the idea and it became more widespread among millennials. It was all an attempt to bring more traffic to the idea of space for figures like Elon Musk and alien life for figures like David Wilcox. David Wilcox then went on to launch his own spiritual foundation called Gaia. Even though it's true that souls come from beyond, the idea of chosen ones is now promoted to give the people who don't believe in those concepts a new term that they can use to feel as though they are specially set aside through their beliefs. This idea is aimed largely at the Christian community, yet chosen souls come from all religious backgrounds. The Creator is not partial and has sent souls to Earth from all soul origins to play a role in helping humanity and Earth at this time. It makes sense that they would be born into all cultures in order to achieve their purpose for heaven in all places on Earth and among all people. But why is this idea being promoted? One reason that mainstream media is promoting the idea of chosen ones during the end times is to lower people into believing in the concept of chosen ones by appealing to their desire for security and significance. By presenting the chosen ones as saviors or leaders who have special powers or insights, the media can tap into people's need for guidance and direction in a chaotic world. This can create a sense of dependency on the chosen ones, leading individuals to look to them for solutions and guidance, 
rather than relying on their own critical thinking and agency. This attracts viewers who are drawn to stories of extraordinary individuals or supernatural phenomena, increasing audience engagement and revenue. Additionally, positioning certain individuals or groups as chosen ones can create a sense of loyalty and allegiance among followers, leading to increased support and influence for the media outlet that promotes them. This helps mainstream media to maintain and expand their audience base, while also shaping public perceptions and beliefs in a way that aligns with their own interests and agendas. This is very similar to what they did with the New Age movement. In launching the New Age movement, they inspired other people to believe in psychic and supernatural powers that they went on to claim that they had launching tens of thousands of psychics and healers online. This led to a huge amount of influencers that sold crystals and other items that really originated from China. This was all in an attempt to sell Chinese products to those who were influenced. It also was used as propaganda to influence and reshape people's belief systems as they tried to turn people away from the old beliefs and even Christianity. I talk about the real scientific nature behind crystals throughout my work. Nevertheless, with this kind of large number of people being influenced, you can now see how many people think that they are psychic and healers in the world. I myself come across many accounts of people proclaiming to have gifts It was also used as a distraction for what was really happening around that time. Whistleblowers were exposing the government. During the 2000s, there were several significant events and issues that the government wanted to distract people from. The 2000s saw the United States engage in the war on terror following the September 11th 2001 terrorist attacks. The government may have wanted to distract the public from questions about the justification for the war, concerns about civil liberties and human rights violations, and the ongoing conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. The 2000s also saw the global financial crisis of 2008, which led to a severe economic recession. The government sought to distract the public from criticisms of their handling of the crisis, concerns about the banking and financial sectors, and the impact of the recession on ordinary people. During that time, there were revelations about the government's extensive surveillance programs, including the warrantless wiretapping by the National Security Agency, or NSA. The government also wanted to divert attention from debates about privacy rights, government transparency, and civil liberties. The 2000s saw growing awareness of environmental issues such as climate change, pollution, and habitat destruction. The government wanted to also distract people from criticisms of their environmental policies, controversial energy projects, and the impacts of climate change. Promoting distractions such as supernatural phenomena or alternative spiritual practices was a way to shift attention away from these pressing concerns and shape public perceptions in a more favorable direction. But even darker, the government wanted to distract people from the fact that we were entering end times. If you go back to spiritual teachings in the New Age movement that promoted these ideas, you'll find that they often spoke of Earth ascending and entering into a golden age. I've had many people come to me with this idea that I often had to correct. Throughout my own predictions that I made about the world, I knew that we were not entering a golden age anytime soon, but worse, 
that we would be entering tribulation. I was laughed at, but it's okay. Now that my predictions have unfolded, it shows people that I was telling the truth the whole time. Now that people can see that these times are folding themselves and there's no hiding it, they need a new propaganda to promote. So they're using the idea of chosen ones. Chosen ones do not have to come from any special origins. And it appears to many, especially Christians, who believe in the end times concept that they are witnessing it before their very eyes. However, you don't have to be a Christian to know that we are living in very dangerous times ahead. Just because I'm saying that the promotion of chosen ones is propaganda doesn't mean that there aren't really chosen ones at all. Quite the contrary. Like I said, I've covered this topic in my own teachings for quite some time now. Chosen ones are real, but they fall into a very special category. Let's take a look. The 144,000 mentioned in the Bible is a symbolic number that appears in the book of Revelation. Specifically in Revelation 7, 1 to 8, and Revelation 14, 1 to 5. The exact interpretation of the 144,000 has been a subject of debate among scholars and theologians, with various interpretations offered over the centuries. In Revelation 7, the 144,000 are described as being sealed by God, representing a specific group of people chosen by God for a special purpose. Some interpretations understand the 144,000 to represent a literal number of individuals who will be saved or protected by God during the end times or a period of tribulation. Others view the 144,000 symbolically representing a larger group of believers who are spiritually sealed and protected by God. In Revelation 14, the 144,000 are described as those who have the Father's name written on their foreheads and are described as being redeemed from the earth and purchased from among mankind. This has led to interpretations that the 144,000 represent a select group of individuals who are set apart for God's purposes and are chosen to serve him in a special way. Some interpretations of the 144,000 see them as representing the faithful remnant of Israel, while others view them as symbolizing the entire community of believers or the church. Others see the 144,000 as representing a group of martyrs or those who have remained true to their faith in the face of persecution and tribulation. Overall, the interpretation of the 144,000 in the Bible is complex and varies among different Christian traditions. While there is no consensus on the exact meaning of the 144,000, the general consensus is that they represent a special group of believers chosen by God for a specific purpose during the end times. So, what are the signs of a chosen soul? 1. Intuition and inner guidance. Chosen individuals often have a strong sense of intuition and inner guidance that helps them navigate through life's challenges and make important decisions. They may experience vivid dreams, synchronicities, or gut feelings that guide them towards their purpose. Two, feeling of purpose. Chosen souls often have a deep sense of purpose or mission in this world. They may feel a strong calling to serve others, make a difference, or bring about positive change in the world. This sense of purpose gives them a drive and motivation to pursue their goals and dreams. Three, spiritual awakening. Chosen individuals may go through a spiritual awakening 
or transformation that leads them to question their beliefs, values, and the meaning of life. They may feel a deep connection to the divine or spiritual realms and seek to deepen their spiritual practice. Four, empathy and compassion. Chosen souls often possess a high degree of empathy and compassion towards others. They may be sensitive to the emotions and energy of those around them and feel a strong desire to help and support others in need. Five, unusual or unique gifts. Chosen individuals may possess unusual or unique gifts, talents, or abilities that set them apart from others. These gifts could include psychic abilities, healing powers, creative talents, or intuitive insights that can be used to benefit others. Six, resilience and strength. Chosen souls often display resilience and strength in the face of adversity. They may have faced challenges, setbacks, or hardships in their lives, but they have the inner strength and determination to overcome them and grow from the experience. Seven, connection to higher realms. Chosen individuals may feel a deep connection to the divine, spiritual guides, angels, or other higher beings. They may receive messages, signs, or guidance from these higher realms that help them on their path and confirm that they are indeed chosen for a special purpose. Chosen ones are real but a person can't just determine whether they are one through watching a video. This is something that is anointed by the heavens and has to be confirmed. These spiritual signs can vary from person to person and not everyone who exhibits these qualities may necessarily be considered chosen. However, those who resonate with these signs may find comfort and validation in recognizing their unique gifts and purpose in this world. Think of all of the people who will watch a video about chosen ones and come to believe that they are one. If everyone in the world was a chosen one, then the world would truly be a different place. Overall, I believe that the idea of promoting the propaganda of chosen ones is to play into the role of the Bible prophecy about false prophets rising up during end times. If you look around, you'll find that there are more people claiming to be a prophet than ever before. This makes it hard for people to find the real prophets. Individuals steal from the real ones and because they look and sound legitimate, they are believed. This makes it hard for people to find a true representative of God. I know that I, myself, have had many of my predictions stolen, as well as my teachings. I see this in many figures today. It'll make it hard for people to recognize the second coming as well. We'll talk about that in a future video. For now, I hope that I helped you to understand why the media has been promoting chosen ones, what a chosen one really is, and signs that a person could be one. But one can never know for sure. It's something that heaven has ordained and can only be the judge of. Thank you for coming by and many blessings to you and everyone you love.